I would like to now introduce singer-songwriter Mark Hyman. Mark comes from Westford, Massachusetts. He grew up in Needham area. And Mark noted as a child when he wasn't sitting underneath the baby grand piano listening to his mother play and see how it uh, vibrated in his bones. He was going to the library every day. Um, he was playing with his brother uh, pretend types of games like uh, Kung Fu, David Carradine, and that's how he got his first scar on his stomach, he noted. So he had the thing of pretend and creation and the literary all going on as well as music. And that he was interested in uh, making music. Uh, it came a little later for him, uh, about, well, eight years he was at the library and he took out two albums of Simon and, and Garfunkel uh, at that time. And uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water and Best of Simon and Garfunkel. And he said that he wasn't sure why they were first, but the vocal counterplay in Scarborough Fair, the harmonies in the boxer, and the surging third verse of Bridge Over Troubled Water moved him at age eight. And he started writing songs shortly after at the age of 13 and took guitar lessons, was a bit shy in his teen years about sharing his songs out as he was writing them, joined a, a band with other teens that he said was more famous for their instruments than for their vocals and uh, that they were happy to loan them out so that they could appreciate each other's guitar in concert. Hey, Vinny, your drums sound pretty good. He noted that they'd say to each other, and Vinny would say, yeah, man, your guitar really rocks. <laughs> Later, his education, his travel, his work all served to shape more songs uh, coming from Mark. And he noted that uh, he had a few cross-country trips in his 20, uh, and that is about the time when the songs were releasing, and that he, in his exploration of our country and outdoors and the life experiences of everyday things like work, marriage, being a parent, getting older, joys and fears were subjects of his songs and noted how they connect us all. And uh, I will end by saying that Mark said songwriting and poetry are ways of approaching the celebration of simple daily stories. And he said, I think it connects all human beings all the way back to the stone paintings and caves and notches on woolly mammoth bones. And even if you are not religious, Mark says, you have to wonder if there's something divine within this creative process. What do you see as a value importance of sharing our songs out with one another? I think it reminds us that we are together and not alone. Your world is my world, is our world. We share our lives and influence each other more than we realize. And here to influence, influence us with his songs this morning, we have Mark Hyman. If you could please give him a hand as he comes up here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do four songs from an album that I'm going to release in a couple of months. It's called The album is called Mandalay, and it uh, came about... Um, when I was working with the, the person I'm recording with named Seth, Seth Connolly, who's been here before, he's a beautiful songwriter and, uh, and a musician, was putting together my songs that had something to do with travel, something to do with motion. Um, and, and so we put together 10 songs that all sort of tell, uh, take a different perspective on being somewhere and wanting to be somewhere else or being somewhere looking, always yearning, always yearning. And in that, this various characters, these various short perspectives present various different points of view on what travel is and what yearning for what ultimately is home. So um, this song is the song that opens it, and this is called Falling Down. Woke up on Monday and I looked in the mirror and said, I can't do this no more. Phoned up the office and I talked to my boss and said, I won't be in no more. Falling down I was. Falling down I was 
and I'm going my way Falling down I was Gone to town I was But I'm going my way Packed up some things I had and I Grabbed my worn Kerouac Drove round, said goodbye Filled up the car with gas Stocked up on highway maps I turned the wheel and was gone Falling down I was Falling down I was When I'm going my way Falling down I was Gone to town I was And I'm going my way Once in a while it seems Everybody just needs One chance to be Going their way Turn the days when a month slip away, and I'm still on the road. Where I'm going, don't know, and where I'm bound for, Lord knows, but I'm going my way. Falling down, I was. Falling down, I was, but I'm going my way. Falling down, I was, gone to town, I was, but I'm going my way. Cause once in a while it seems, cause once in a while. Seems. Once in a while it seems Everybody just needs One chance to be Going their way Well, the um, the interesting thing about working on an, on an album is uh, I've been is figuring out how to actually work on an album, and uh, the part about this that's been fun is uh, taking and putting all this um, this quilt of songs together, and realizing that after all these years of working on these songs, they actually had a theme to them, and that takes an outside force, somebody looking at your stuff and saying, well, you know, there's actually stuff is connected. Not just you, but there's actually themes in this. So that was, that was the idea behind this. Um, this next song is more of a, it's called uh, My Favorite Moments. And it's, um, it's more of the perspective of somebody who's thinking about, who's kind of content, but thinking about, you know, how, could, how things could be a little better. So this is called Favorite Moments. My favorite moments are sunshine Favorite moments are free Favorite moments come and gone 
and then remain with me. Favorite moments are broad grass fields, blue sky fading, red to gold. I'm rolling on a summer wind when the sun sets slow. My favorite moments are when I drive music on the radio, wandering on empty roads. And I feel the flash of a field rush by, the freedom call to forever roam. And you know, there ain't no ropes holding me down. Makes me feel that I can fly Awake and weightless, I'm alive And out there routine, well that's something new Hiding in some corner, waiting for you But most times I'm in a hurry somewhere Will I become someone I don't care Taillights and stop signs and headlight glare And the noise and haste, it's all around me On an overheated concrete ground Everywhere are ropes holding me down of time My favorite moments of life Favorite moments lovely thing about changing the capo is changing your tuning. But uh, the next song, really, the last two songs, the last two ones I'll do, are, um, are the last two songs on the album. And they, they really sort of bring the whole thing home. And uh, it's... Um, it's just, this song is called Home, and it's a celebration of a person yearning, the point of the perspective of a person homesick and thinking about what will it be like to be back, and perhaps reflecting back on the journey they've taken. So the song is called Home.
I worked in the cities, I worked in the farms, and I've driven the highways and gotten along. The pace made me weary, I'd wandered off track, and it's moments like these I long to get back to my home, home where I long to be. Home is a sailor that's home from the sea. Ring. Ring, ah, ring the town bell And welcome a hunter return from the hills And I gave them my time I gave up control I worked every night and I only grew old I drifted from friends I knew as a child I drifted from those who made it worthwhile That's home home where I long to be. Home is a sailor that's home from the sea. Ring, ring, and ring the town bell. Welcome a hunter return from the hills. And we'll dance, 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 dance. In the moonlight we'll dance. nowhere to turn but the road in my past it's there where I learned it's funny you know but when you get through well there's always that light on there waiting for you that's home home where I long to be home is a sailor that's home from the sea ring ring I ring the town bell welcome a hunt to return from the hills that's home home where i long to be home is a sailor that's home from the sea ring ring ah ring the town bell welcome home to return from the hills This is the dangerous moment when I tune, retune the guitar to a new. This is when the guitar, the uh, last time I was here, I think I did this, I snapped a string. Don't know, everyone hold your breath. But this last song was, uh, this is actually gonna be the debut of it, because I finished it two weeks ago. Somehow I had to finish this album with something that brought it together. Um, uh, this song is called Good Day's Journey's End. My dear, let us pray. Hush, my dear, let us pray. Pray the river always descends in the yellow lines of the road. 
forever run round the bend. Pray for family and long lost friends. Blessings of a good day journey's end. There comes a time to grow and leave A time to wander, risk and dream There comes a time to say so long And drop your bags where you belong Drop your bags where you belong Pray the river always descends The yellow lines of your life Forever run round the bend Pray for family and long lost friends Blessings of a good day journey's end Yet some days you are unsure At the end of the driveway You wonder where to turn And as you walk on Together you stay, or together you roam. May your river always descend, and the yellow lines of your lives forever run round the bend. May you find love and your long lost friends and the blessings of a good day journey's end Thank you. Thank you very much. Green-eyed guzzle. <laughs> Nathaniel courted her best friend, inaugurating jealousy. She slammed her teeth and ripped her hair, authenticating jealousy. At first, she couldn't eat. She took to weeping histrionically. She spent her time at home with sketchbooks illustrating jealousy. She clawed the hours that she was missing fun and carefree gaiety. She cultivated narcissism, orchestrating jealousy. But when Nathaniel ditched her friend, her sorrow for herself made her double all her efforts at approximating jealousy. Yet in the main, the added strain was staying sad consistently concocting lies, suppressing smiles, and simulating jealousy. Although you'd think she would remember what was said so long ago, her sharpened claws forget the cause for celebrating jealousy. Thank you. Just get me out of Buffalo. If you like snow, but not the North Pole, Buffalo, New York is the place to go. From Halloween to Easter, the city has lots of snow. It's measured in feet and covers you head to toe. When the snow falls, folks get to work when they can. Snow plows are everywhere, run by snow-encrusted men. <laughs> this may seem like fun to you if you love the flaky stuff, 
but some woe-begotten folks cry, no more, I've had enough. The snow comes out their noses, even out their red-rimmed ears, causing long-suffering Buffalovians to shed buckets and buckets of tears. This plight befell Myra Slaney, who once loved all this snow, until she woke up one day and said, this has got to go. But the snow wasn't going anywhere. Buffalo is God's tundra, after all. So Myra finally decided to get out of town once and for all. She jumped into a snow-covered vehicle whose motor was running by chance. Then she made for the city line, not knowing she had stolen an ambulance. <laughs> Police cars, copters, the Seventh Fleet surrounded her before long. Myra threw herself on their mercy, blaming snow blindness for her wrongs. In court, contrite Myra begged the judge, Your Honor, I can't take it anymore. Just get me out of Buffalo. So he sent her to the Florida shores. Now, sporting sunglasses and a bikini, Myra soaks up the scorching sun's rays, working on her tan, drinking to forget, while in Buffalo, it snows night and day. Peach and pear 